messy bun. Look at those curls. Oh my gosh, look at those curls come out today. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey y'all, Danielle, the Blissful Oracle, and um, I just drove up from um, doing some errands, and I'm definitely dressed for an errand day. There was lots of happy mail on my driveway. I'm not going to tell you how much because my husband might watch this. <laughs> Seriously, there was a lot of happy mail on the driveway today. And one of them, this box right here, I think you guys can see it's from Hay House. It is the third installment of the Deck Card Club. Now, the first uh, go around. Uh, the first time that you could order, I was actually in Denver. So I comp I was gone that week. So I completely missed all of the emails. The second time I was actually uh, caregiving. Uh, someone in my family had an accident. So I completely missed all those. All those. And again, wasn't on social media that week. So hmm, Danielle didn't get the second box. Wow. Officially, I guess, a Hay House Card Deck Club member. Now, if you guys want to see... If you want to see what's in the box, I am going to get my lighting set up, turn my camera around, plug in the mic, get my desk prepared. I've even got to crank up the desk. You hear that? Yeah, I lost the crank to my desk, so this is what I manually have to use now. Um, it's not an electric desk. It was actually uh, one of these Husky pieces that uh, we got at Home Depot for the price. It was an amazing deal. I for the highly price. recommend this desk if you want a standing desk because it's got a nice worktop and um, yeah, it's easy to operate if you don't lose the crank. So I'd like to take just a minute to kind of go over the pros and cons of subscription boxes in general. First, they're predictable. You kind of know what you're gonna get. Again, you know you're gonna get three decks in the uh, Hay House Card Deck Club. So it's very predictable. I know that some people kind of grumbled the first time because they had gotten decks that were already released or that uh, they already had in their collection. So they were kind of put off by that. There's also, um, I saw a couple complaints about, um, you know, they weren't cat people. So they really did not have any, uh, they didn't really have any interest in getting uh, this newest deck. However, this is what I will say. For $29.99 plus the $7, this is still about 50% off add it up all together so you could totally gift this to someone who is a cat lover who is an oracle collector or um you know oracle card user i i just say you know hay house last year had a beautiful wonderful uh buy one get it was one. a bogo and i had stocked up on a few decks in fact i'm gonna share with you here in just a second one deck that i still have sealed that i have not given away I, I will be honest, I've sold a couple of them, I've traded a couple of them, or I've gifted them. For the value of the, of the box, these two alone would be your 40 bucks, if you will. And this one you could gift to a friend. Um, it also may inspire someone to, you know, start using decks on a daily basis. And, and we can all share the love of our, our decks, our tarot and our oracle collecting. If you're on a budget and your budget is $40 every three months, you know you're gonna get three decks every three months, right? It's convenient, it's gonna come to your, you know. <laughs> Again, I found mine on my driveway, so it's very convenient that you know that you're gonna get three new decks from Hay House. There's not any customization, so that's kind of a, a, a a con again you can't say oh i don't want this deck can you swap it out for that one that's fine i mean it is what it is now the cons some again some downsides overbuying <laughs> if you forget that you are part of the deck club then it could go on your credit card without you or you know dip into your bank account without you thinking anything of it brought up their website it says we will remind you three days before the next reoccurring bill date so there's no surprises on your subscription Maybe as long as you're looking at your email that could be a pro for you to look at the box and say no i don't want it i can skip you're locked into the brand so you know that you're going to get you're going to get the <laughs> I, I hate to say it typical hay house stock uh size uh, all the boxes are pretty much coming the same th nowadays, so you, you know what you're going to get. You know what kind of quality you're going to get. So if you enjoy Hay House size, the size of the decks and the quality of the paper, then you know what you're going to get. 
There is no returns or exchanges. That's pretty much typical of all the subscription boxes. And I don't know how hard it would be to quit the subscription box because again, I'm brand new to this one, but I know that some subscription boxes have been kind of a pain or a hassle to cancel, but I'm guessing that Hay House doesn't want you to get product that you don't want. I Honestly, no retailer wants you to be stuck with a product that you're not happy with. With that said, you know, if you got a, ba a box that just didn't resonate with you, then maybe that is something you should look at and say, you know what, I'm not subscribing anymore. Or again, just kind of skip it each time. But again, set your calendar either electronically or you know write it on that paper cal calendar when the subscription's coming up. That way you know to be sure to look and either play or pass. For me, if it's all new decks, I'm gonna be thrilled every time I get it. All right, so let's dive into the decks, shall we? Now, I was lucky enough that uh, when I ordered this, I ordered it the very first day that it was, came available. But when I ordered, it also gave me the option to get the second box that came out last That was fall. the My Light Attracts Light box. And included in this box, again, these, these are all items that are already out, so I'm not gonna break them open and show them to you. But it was the Raise Your Vibration Oracle by Kyle Gray. That one came out, yeah, November of last year. Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle. That one came out in October of 2022. And the Oracle Card Journal, which was a daily practice for igniting your insight, intuition, and mag uh, magic by Colette Baron Reed. This one, I think, may be still sold out on the Hay House website, but don't worry, it will come back. It is a very nice journal. I like this journal because not only is it an Oracle Card Journal, but it leaves space on the other side to actually doodle. Uh, you know, you could use it for writing, no doubt, but I tell my clients, you know, if you don't have to write a novel, and I've had clients that actually do uh, doodle journaling, so they will doodle their feelings out, if you will, or, you know, what, what comes up for them. So I was really excited that I was able to get the second box. Now, the first box I did not get was, um, it came with the Energy of Spirit Oracle, the Animal Apothecary, and I believe it came with some sort of Louise Hay gift card something or other. I'm not really sure. I've already got those decks. <laughs> so I'm not worried about getting that previous box, but I, I would have liked the card though. I would have liked to seen the card that came in it because I think what I'm gonna do with these is take them and actually use them in my own journal. So the card that came with uh, this shipment is, I remember that I am the spark of the divine. My path is beautiful and unique. And I thought this was perfect because I am using my new uh, Tree of Life desk mat. I found this on Amazon, just FYI. So I will put a link down below. I'll also put a link down below for all of this, all of these items, both individual decks on Book Depository and Amazon, as well as Hay House. Now, a couple of these decks I did look on, it isn't even available on Hay House yet, and it hasn't been shipped from Amazon. First one to get to see it, to share it with you guys. We're just opening the box. I will put walkthroughs to these two decks. This one I'll go ahead and walk through because it's uh, it's 13 cards by Atheween Noctura. Atheena Noctura. <laughs> All right, so I've been practicing saying that name. It actually is, um, I believe that's her pen name, the author's pen name, because actually this means owl. This is a type of owl, type of owl. Uh, so <laughs> I did a little research on that, and this particular author has had a couple of successful Kickstarters, which I'll share that with you. I believe this is Asha Frost's first card deck. She is the author of a book, which is, um, what is it? The Sacred Medicine Woman, I believe. Um, you, no, You Are the Medicine. Uh, yeah, You Are the Medicine. Yeah, is the name of her book. I'm excited to dive into this one. And then you either are a fan or not a fan of this type of art by MJ Cullinane. 
And this is the Grimlockins Curious Cats Tarot. So this is brand new as well. Uh, there is the Grimlockin Tarot. There is the Grimlockin Cats Tarot. So now we have the Grimlockin Curious Cat Tarot. And I did see you can get this guidebook on Amazon. So that is already released and ready to go if you like to purchase the guidebooks alongside the decks, which I have done in the past. All right, so the first deck we'll, we'll, I'll show you really quickly from the box is uh, Asha Frost, the Sacred Medicine Oracle. I'm just gonna follow the card here. So it's the Sacred Medicine Oracle, a 56 card deck and guidebook by Asha Frost, art by Steph Littlebird, brand new release coming out February, 2023. At the time I'm filming this, it is uh, around the 20th of February when I got the box. Uh, according to Amazon, this is going to be released on February 28th. Yay, I'm pretty excited. Um, again, I will do a complete walkthrough on my channel with this deck, but I want to applaud Hay House. Um, I am super stoked that we have embraced a indigenous author and an indigenous artist to put together this deck. So yay, thank you. I don't know if this was a deck already in the process with these two women or if Hay House uh, put them together. Uh, not really sure, but yay, I'm excited to dive into this. I, I've ha I hate to say that I've seen decks that just are so slapped together that it really did not take in to account what time the the lineage and the um, the the work of these women um, to bring the information and bringing it in a, a meaningful way that is honor that that honors their culture. So I, I don't want to get too far off that. Well, I'll talk about that in the walkthrough. But um, just super excited that there are two indigenous women that have put together this this deck. So Asha Frost uh, actually uh, has a book out, uh, You Are the Medicine. It is, I believe it is, uh, Hay House is the publisher. I did check it all out on Amazon. Uh, I enjoy using not only my uh, Kindle, uh, I enjoy Audible. I read about four books a month on Audible. This particular book I did look up, it's about eight hours. I'll give you the full title of the book. It is You Are the Medicine, 13 Moons of Indigenous Wisdom, Ancestral Connection, and Animal Spirit Guidance. And again, it's available on Kindle, audiobook, and you can, of course, purchase the paperback. Now, uh, again, I'm just going to kind of quickly show you the guidebook. Again, it's a typical Hay House guidebook. Um, so it has the spreads in it. And then what I really enjoy is... Not only does it have the number, the card, it also has a keyword. It has some good information there. It has a sacred c ceremony, and then it has a healing affirmation as well. Yay, I can't wait to work with this. Uh, again, typical Hay House uh, box, and of course, um, the, the card stock, the, the, the standard Hay House card stock, very thick. So I will probably overhand shuffle this. But right now, let me just split this deck so I can kind of show you some of the art. Uh, and again, I will do a complete walkthrough on my channel here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to like cover up the, uh, um, the keywords. Oh, look at this. Look at that color. So pretty. Past life medicine, two spirits. Oh, look at the diversity on this. Yes, yes. Oh, I can't. I I can't wait to see what this says. Okay, I will do that in my walkthrough. Good keywords. I love the art. Earth mother, sacred medicine, Shaw dancer, star blanket. I don't know if I could have split that any more perfect. <laughs> Reconnection, offering, accomplishment, sensitivity, 
mosaic cleanse pieces all right so that's just a quick little preview of the deck again i will be doing a complete walkthrough on my channel Alrighty, so next up is mj colonane uh grimlonkins curious cats tarot and again this is an 80 card deck with a guidebook uh, release date is in April of 2023, and I think you guys all know she is the uh, original creator of the Crow's Tarot. Um, there's also, oh my gosh, there's so many others. Um, I actually did pull, I actually do have the original Grimlockins Tarot. And uh, when I opened the box, I noticed here, you can see the art is the same and uh, then over here so the art is very much the same uh, two different card stocks again you can see here it's two different decks it, it's you know again this was her self-published deck there's the back of that one here's the back of this one uh, so two two totally different decks I have enjoyed my time with this one I'm I'm not really a cat person, but I did have a cat that adopted me <laughs> a few years back, and uh, he lived with us for, uh, oh my gosh, like 10 or 11 years. I think he was 10 or 11, and he passed away last year. Uh, but again, I love the fact that the boxes aren't playing anymore. I love, um, I know that there's uh, now designers, of the, like box uh, design by Nick C. Welsh. I love the fact that they're just as colorful and while i'm working with a deck the box will be put up sometimes i'll even write inside the deck um when i got it and where i got the deck you know if i was on a special trip or something with my husband i applaud um the mass market card makers for you know again making a deck that's 30 dollars worth 30 dollars. i know some people say the boxes are just a waste i personally love the boxes I love the art and I love the fact that they're putting the time and effort into designing uh, a beautiful box. So again, typical Hay House box here. Let me put that aside. Uh, again, nice thick. That's a really thick one. Oh, but of course, this is oh, an look, deck, right? There's dedications. Look, there's dedications to other cats. That's amazing. All right, so we have the card name. Uh, and that is on each deck, so the number and the and the card name. And then we have a dedication in here. We have uh, a little story, looks like. Then we have the energy attributes, both positive and negative. And again, this is uh, based on a uh, RWS deck. And I think that's what I read. It's perfect for card lovers. Um, Somewhere I had read, and maybe it was on the yes, back of the box. it is. Okay, the perfect deck for any cat lover. Each uh, Rider Wade Smith style card in the deck depletes cats along their own furry full journey. The good, the bad, the graceful, and the goofy. A nice thick guidebook. And let me split the deck here so you guys can see it. Just again, I'll have a full walkthrough available on my channel. And let me flip it this way again so my hands aren't in the way so you guys can get kind of a good feeling i have to say i've already looked at a few of these cards and spot on some of this stuff look at that emperor it just the hierophant with a key oh i love these lover cards this one is the one that got my attention. Look at this, the chariot with the dogs, the two Dobermans, it looks like a Doberman. And I forget what the name of this cat is. I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me in the comments, but Page Cups. Yes, I, you either love or hate this artwork and I personally love MJ's work, artwork. Uh, I passed on a few decks that I wish I had gotten before she went so totally ma uh, mass market. I missed out on a few of the indie decks, but oh, I love this. I love this. Okay. All right, so there's a little taste of what's to come on my channel. I will do a complete walkthrough of this deck. And again, this deck is not going to be released until April. So we've, uh, at the time of filming this, this is 
February. You've got a couple months before you can purchase this unless you are part of the Hay House Deck Club. What I will say is again, if you're not a cat lover or this deck doesn't resonate with you and it comes in the subscription box, then uh, be a doll, gift it to someone. Before I wrap up uh, the, with the Grimlockin's Curious Cats Tarot, I did wanna share with you that on Amazon is the journal, the, a companion journal that you could get to go along with this. I believe it is self-published. There is a lot of MJ's works that is self-published and available on Amazon. This is just an example. Now, I believe, again, this is just a journal that is available. I did not see a complete guidebook. Unfortunately, I can't see what's in the book. It just says Curious Cats Paperback Journal. MJ, if you listen to this, could you please put a few pictures in? I know that people are reluctant to purchase items such as this without knowing what's inside it. And sometimes I'll even go to the, um, the stars, uh, the feedback, and the reviews and see if I can find any pictures before I purchase an item. Again, if I wanna look inside. I just wanna direct you to Amazon because there is some additional resources available, especially from MJ. Uh, this particular deck, I, ha I still have a sealed copy because I believe I got this on Hay House BOGO week. And I think that's how I ended up being a uh, 2023 VI Hay House VIP. They have a private uh, group and then give us a lot of little perks for being a VIP. But I wanted to let you know that there are other resources available. I actually am very appreciative for this big guidebook because I've noticed in the last few years that my eyesight is going, my uh, farsight is going pretty quickly and I appreciate having a bigger guidebook that I can actually read. <laughs> this is also when I'll get in my Kindle. If, uh, if I can't read in the daylight, I will end up getting out my Kindle because it is easier for me on my eyes. Just giving you a few hints out there uh, of resources that are also available other than directly off of MJ's site. All right, so the last deck I have is uh, this was, uh, I guess, considered the uh, the free gift, if you will. But again, this is all together. This is sixty six dollars worth of decks that I got for twenty nine ninety nine plus the seven dollars shipping. This deck will be released March of twenty twenty three. It is the Crystal Ball Oracle, a thirteen card deck and guidebook by Atuina Noctura, and I believe that's how you pronounce that name it's actually it is actually an owl <laughs> so i don't know if this is like her pen name or she officially changed her name there are a couple other decks that are out on the market that you're probably familiar with uh one being um, her kickstarter which was the unfolding path tarot beautiful deck i actually um i actually received that deck over the holiday and because i was uh caring for family members it literally is still sitting in the box i think i got i bought two copies of the unfolding path tarot so that if you recognize this art um, that's where it came from and she also did two other um i think it's just two others correct me if i'm wrong uh, but she's also um, the author of uh, the rich uh, which is familiar runic oracle which is this deck right here I fell in love with this. This is my favorite rune deck. Um, I just love the colors. I love the art. Um, yeah, I love the colors. I love the art. I'm just gonna put that aside so that we can kind of do a comparison of the, the size of the card. Uh, since this, again, I'm not gonna do a complete walkthrough on this. And then she also did the Crystal Ball Pocket Oracle, which is, again, this is the independent version here. And now we have the mass market version. So I wanted to kind of show you what the cards look like side by side so you had an idea. In fact, let's find this card here. Uh, it's the only white one, so. <laughs> so here is the independent version. Here is the Hay House version. And you can see the independent's just slightly smaller. And I believe it's the same amount of cards. 
I'm going to assume it's the same amount of cards. The backs are the same. You can see the difference on the size here. I'm guessing because they're going to, Hay House is also releasing the, um, which is familiar, Runic card, that it might be part of the freebie, the freebie in the, uh, one of the other um, installments. So this uh, just has like a little fold out guide. Again, this is more like a yes, no um, pocket oracle. And again, I'm just gonna quickly flip through so you guys can see the cards. So there's no go, the time is right, not the right time. You're going in the right direction. Choose a direction, I love that, the eye with the moon north and south. I, I like, I love that. I love that art. This guy is so cute. Look at him. No need to worry. Unlikely. Listen to your intuition along with the owl there. I don't know if this is a Athena, what is it? Atuina Noctu. I don't know if that's the actual owl. Someone tell me in the comments. <laughs> Get more information, let go, reconsider. Yeah, okay, and then this is a sign. All right, so again, this is the same author of uh, The Unfolding Path Tarot, and I believe that The Unfolding Path Tarot has also been picked up by Hay House. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I do believe that we might be seeing that deck Mass soon. Market. So, which would be awesome because it is beautiful art. Again, I don't have mine uh, unpacked because it came over the holiday and I've just now kind of uh, settled into <laughs> my own routine. I'm trying... Before I wrap up, I just wanted to share with you guys again that I was able to purchase the second uh, installment of the deck club. And these are the two decks that I got. So I got the Ar Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle, and then of course Kyle Gray's new uh, Razor Vibration Oracle deck, and Colette Baron Reed's Oracle Card Journal. I wanted to share with you guys again that not only do you have a place for your card, a date, location, first impressions, write or draw, again, write and draw, or or draw, I would say, what the card means to you. So that's why they are, there's these nice big pages because again, you don't have to write everything out. You could use this totally for continuing to write what the card means to you, but again, I really appreciate that there's a, a space here for you to, to draw, to doodle. And again, I, I tell my clients all the time, you don't always have to write out your feelings. You can also doodle them out. I really enjoy Colette's decks. So many decks. Oracle School, I've attended for three years. Always, always um, enlightening. And... Um, the other thing I will say is, if you haven't checked out Oracle Palooza, I've I've attended every year except for one, and it is an amazing three days that you don't want to miss. And uh, in my opinion, very inexpensive. Definitely check out Oracle Palooza. All right, that's all I got for you guys. So if you want to see walkthroughs, I will be putting up complete walkthroughs of the Grimlockin Curious Cats. And then, of course, Asha Frost, the Sacred Medicine Oracle. They'll come out in the next couple days. If you want to see more of my content, then please consider subscribing yes. to my channel. Give us a like. And again, in the comments, anything that you want to add or share with me. I love talking tarot. I love talking oracle. So just put a comment below. If there's any other items that you saw today that you'd like a complete walkthrough of, getting my opinion, showing you the cards, Again, just let me know in the comments. I'm always super honored if you have watched my video from beginning to end. So thank you and have a blessed and beautiful day.